Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. <clears throat> and this dream is about a massive earthquake dream that I had, okay, recently. In De on December 13, 2022, on a Tuesday early morning, okay? And this is what I saw. I saw lots of people <clears throat> scattered around a vast land. It was a beautiful day. Everybody was just laying, relaxing on the, on the mountain land. You know, saw grass, trees. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden, as I turn to my right and my hand points, you know, it's laying on the, on the grass, I see some branches coming up out of the ground. And I think, wow, what is happening? So I, then I point to a different branch and it starts coming up again. You know, when the ground shakes, it looks like the branches are moving and that's what I felt. So I'm thinking, what? It's so weird that when I point to it, the branches move and then immediately I realize, no, it has nothing to do with my pointing. It's God Almighty. His hand is almighty and powerful and he is allowing the ground to split open. This is a, a massive earthquake, and that's what I wrote in my in here. I knew it was a massive earthquake. I see everybody getting up, the ground starts shaking, you know, and I get up too, and I said, run! Everybody runs and splits. I see people running this way and people running this way. Because the ground, think of the hill, the mountaintop like this, and it starts going like this. It starts splitting. So this side went lower and this side went higher. And I see my daughter running this way with other people behind her. And I was like, which way should I go? I didn't know which way to go. So I just decided the last minute to go this way so I can climb the, the hump and try to get higher. And as I do get higher, as the ground's still shaking and splitting, I slip and I'm hanging by my dear life. And all I can see is like the depths of the ground, you know, the darkness. And I know if I if I fall, I'll die instantly because it, it's you'll be covered in the depths of the you know the the depths, you know, below. So then I'm crying out for help and I see a familiar face. I see my ex husband and I yell at him and say, Help me, help me get up. But he does and he just gives me that look like, No, I want you to fall. And then he walks away and I'm still screaming, screaming for help. And finally somebody gets me up. And remember the ground still splitting and trembling. And then I, he, they help me up and I'm finally relieved because the ground start starts, stops shaking. And then I see people coming back. I see my daughter in the distance and I'm like thankful and grateful to God that she made it. And I see people coming this way and people with a lot of fear in their face. And that was the end of the dream. And I was like, wow, I've never had a earthquake, a massive earthquake dream like this one. But I know it's coming because if we read in Matthew 24, Jesus says there will be earthquakes in various places, right? But in Revelation, it talks about the massive earthquake. Let me read that for you. Revelation chapter 11, verse, that's Revelation chapter 11, verse uh, 12. And they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them, come up here. Then they went up into heaven in the cloud and their enemies watched them. And this is talking about the, the two witnesses. And in that hour, there was a great earthquake and a tenth of the city fell 7,000 people were killed in the earthquake and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven the second woe is past behold the third woe is coming quickly so there's going to be a massive earthquake like no other and it's going to kill a tenth Tenth of the city, okay, so that's 7,000 people. That's a lot of lives. So we need to pray fervently and make sure that we are 
that we are born again Christians, that we're that we truly repented and are born again, so we won't get caught off guard when this earthquake happens, and because there's gonna be many to perish. And if you are not truly born again in Jesus Christ, like it says in John 3:3 3, 3 through John 3:5, Jesus says, "Unless you're born again, you will not enter the kingdom of, of my Father." So read those verses and meditate on the Lord and cry out for forgiveness, so you will be saved. When before this earthquake even happens, you should be saved. Know that your soul, where your soul's gonna go, because a lot of people are gonna perish. And that was a terrifying dream. But I just wanted to share it with you all. And um, God bless you and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.